Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Today I want to talk about why your app should be free or expensive, but never cheap. So I've been doing a lot of thinking lately about app pricing, how much we charge for our apps, and I'm starting to change my strategy a little bit in that area. See, over the last few months, I've spoken to quite a few people on the iOS side, I've spoken to quite a few developers, who are charging the upper tiers for their apps. So they're not doing 99 cents, 2.99, 1.99, whatever. They're doing like, you know, 8.99, you know, 15.99, and they're doing really well. They're just, you know, they're getting less downloads, but they're doing well because they're making what they should be making for their applications. So I started doing that after that. I started raising the price on some of my apps, and I noticed that I am actually getting more revenue in, slightly more. I mean, it's not a huge amount. Uh, like if I if I double the price, I don't make double the, the revenue because less people download, but I make a little bit more. Uh, and it's um in less support. So less people downloading it, less support. And it's actually working out pretty well. I think it's, and I, I've done, I know I've done videos about this in the past that we talked about app pricing. And in the early stages, I was always going for 99 cents thinking if it's cheap, people will buy it, right? And and the, the fact of the matter was people were buying it, but not because it was cheap. They were buying it because they liked it. And when I raised the price, I found that you know, it was like so stupid. Like I wish I had I'd done it earlier, but I just started raising the price and playing around with the price a little bit on that. You're raising it, lowering it, just keep going. It's, it's so much easier to, I mean, you actually can do it on iOS and on Android just you know, without re-releasing a new version. So it's kind of thing you, you can play with, right? And um, and I think you know I'm going to start charging more more for the apps for the paid applications, right? Yet I still get people asking me all the time, why do you even do free applications? Why even have a free app, right? And especially like in the early days when I was getting well, I still get thousands of downloads each day, but and people and I, I remember telling somebody I know I've, like I remember in the first few months I remember saying. Well, like in the first year when I said, my apps have been downloaded 10,000 times, right? And uh, and somebody said, wow, that's amazing. How much are you selling it for? And I said, well, it's free. And they go, oh, right. But it was still, it was it was good. And they would say, well, why don't you just charge, why don't you just charge 10 cents for it? Because everyone would pay 10 cents. Who wouldn't pay 10 cents for an app? And then you would still make, you know, hundreds of dollars. But the truth is that's that's not correct. If you went from free to 10 cents, you would get far less downloads than, than if you went from like 99 cents to 399 or 99 cents to 499 because you know, people are either going to buy or they're not going to buy. That is so it's it's not so much the the cost, it's the inconvenience and the embarrassment to get it wrong. Like if I'm going to buy an app or if I'm going to buy anything, let's say I'm going to buy a newspaper, you know, all those free newspapers, like in London, they came out with those free newspapers all those years ago. And I'm, I see two news, newspapers side by side. One of them's free. One of them costs 10 cents. I'm going to, if it's, if I could pay by cash, easy, but I don't want to pay by credit card. I don't want like a credit card bill for 10 cents, right? I'll, something on my itemized bill each month or, and also if I, if I buy that 10 cents app and everyone else is going to the free one and they're the same quality, I'm going to feel like an idiot for getting the one that's, that's, you know, that I paid for if I get the same thing for free. And this is one of the things we face as app developers. You could come out with the best app in the world, but somebody could come out with a competitor that looks the same and there's no risk because it's free and they could try it, you know, next door. So when we're talking to clients, I was talking to a client just the other day, we're talking about whether or not to use free within app purchases or do paid. My whole thing is do both. Do both. Some people don't want to mess around with in-app purchases. They just want to buy it outright, but do the in-app purchases too. And I find that if you're going to charge anything, never go for, well, I don't even think you go for 10 cents. I never go for you know, $1 or 99 cents or something. I go, go a bit higher, right? Because people are going to pay or they're not going to pay. I can remember years ago when I was working uh, a contract and we were talking, it was like, um, it was not an investment bank. It was another big company. It was a big corporation. And uh, we were talking about using a CMS and we we're talking about, they, were, they wanted to buy this um uh, this Kentico or so I can't remember what it was called some sort of CMS where they had to pay for it. And I can't remember how much it cost, but they had to pay per license and everything. And, and me and some of the other developers were saying, why don't we use Drupal or Joomla or WordPress? And their whole thing was, well, because it's free and it's not worth anything or whatever. 
right? So they would get these salespeople in and they spend loads of money on these on the CMSs, which did pretty much the same thing, but you know, they were more expensive because they had all that overhead. And I remember saying that if WordPress wasn't free, it would be the same. They would have to hire salespeople. They would have to go in and schmooze clients. They would have to do all that kind of stuff. And they wouldn't be the global presence that they are now. Free works. That's the reason we all do free. Because that's the way you get in front of people. That's the way you get them to download your app. But it's those in-app purchases and maybe the ads to some extent that actually makes the money. So free is important. I don't think we can get away from free. Even if you think I'm not going to do a free app, your competitors might once they see yours is working out. And then you you're forced into that situation, which is, you know, just the way it is. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, I, I know I've talked about this before, but it's, just, it's the same conversation I get in again and again uh, with people. You know, why don't you just charge? Why don't you lower the price? Then you'll get more, more downloads. Now people are either going to buy or they're not going to buy. And, uh, and this also explains why we have a lot of these app services out there like App Annie. The, the lowest tier is free, the next tier up $700 a month or something ridiculous like that. There's no, there's no gradual incline because not enough people are buying it in order for them to be able to afford it. So at least that's, that's my opinion on it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. That is it for today. I'll talk to you again tomorrow.